Gentlemen, the Onyx Club is proud to present Chicago's hottest show in the world. Two jazz bays moving as one, the Kelly Sisters. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that jazz, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz, start the car, I know it would be spot where the genie just a noisy hall where there's a nightly row and all that jazz. And all that jazz. Cha-cha. And all that jazz. My wife, Roxy, had nothing to do with it. I'm telling you. She was sleeping when I walked in the door. I had to shoot him. I saw him climbing through the window. Well, the first one is Roxy and I would like to sing a song of love and devotion dedicated to a dear husband, Amos. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong, but he doesn't care. He'll string along. He loves me so. That funny honey of mine. I mean, just supposing, just supposing he had violated her or something. You know what I mean? Violated? I know what you mean. Or something. Think about how terrible that would have been. It's a good thing I'm home from work on time. I'm telling you that. He loves me so. I say I'm telling you that. Honey of mine. Name of the deceased? Fred Casely. Fred Casely. How could he be a burglar? My wife knows him. He sold us our furniture. He gave us 10% off. Lord knows he ain't got the smarts. You told me he was a burglar. You mean he was dead when you got home? She had him covered in a sheet. And she's telling me some cock and bull story about this burglar and how I ought to say I did it because I was sure to get off. Help me, Amos. She said that's my hour now of Now he shot off his trap. I can't stand that sap. And Look I at believe him go, that chick will trim. She's two timing me, huh? Well, I'm through protecting her. She can swing for all I care. Boy, I'm working my butt off down in the garage, up, 14 well, hours a day, and she's I'll up there munching on bonbons and tramping around like someday floozy. I tell you, there's some things a man just crummy, can't take, and crummy, this time she's pushed me too far. That little sister. Boy, what a sap I was. Cross or you big bluffer mouth. What are you cross. talking about, Roxanne? You set me up. Look, I did shoot him, but it was in self-defense. He was trying to burgle me. From what I hear, he's been burgling you three nights a week for the past month. The gig's up, Roxy. Send her downtown. There's gonna be a hanging case. A hanging case? This is you! You're Val McKelly. I was there the night you were arrested. I'm such a huge fan. Yeah, you and half Chicago, kid. And now, the six merry murderesses from the Cook County Jail Squish. in their rendition of The Cells Cicero. Tango. Let's get 
Mr. Billy Beard in the press conference rag. Notice how his mouth never moves. Almost. Then describe it. He came for me with a pistol. From my bureau. Did you fight him? Like a tiger. He had strength and she had none. The late night entertainment circuit in Chicago. Sexy and mystifying from the outside, but behind the scenes is a chaotic, immoral mess that takes play by the rules. Good girls like Roxy here, and introduces them to all that no good stuff. Roxy wanted to be a nun, a pure, innocent, devoted woman. All she did was try. Now the nastiness we have to deal with now is simply a result of the evil surrounding my client, the innocent Roxy High. Your Honor, the jury has reached its verdict. The jury's reached a verdict already. How do you find the defendant? Not guilty. <laughs> Murder outside the courtroom. Come on. Where's everybody going? Don't you want to take my picture? I'm the famous Roxy Hart. What happened? It's Chicago, kid. You can't beat fresh blood on the walls. But what about my publicity? I was counting on that. You're free. Be happy about that. Congrats, Hart. I hear you're free. Yeah. Listen, solo acts are nothing these days. But two, we can make a couple hundred a week. A couple hundred? Just think. Our faces back in the papers, our names up in lights. That'll never work. Why not? Because you hate me and I hate you. There's only one business in the world where that's not a problem. And now, the Chicago Theater's proud to announce for the first time ever, not only one lady, but two. Papers, and now here they are, Chicago's very own Lady Sinners. It's Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly. It's good, isn't it great? Isn't it grand? Isn't it swell? Isn't it fun? 